Mina Konichiwa. It's time for your daily dose of your vitamins and your nutrients. The Tiburon, and I know I might be copying this, but goodness sake, I need to get this immediately. Oh man, that was so much fun. But I need to do more, more testing and just gameplay of this. I think I can do more, but I gotta do some gameplay. Ugh. What I'm talking about is the Tiburon, or what I used to call it, well, what I can now call it, Mr. Tibbs. This thing right here used to suck, but now, <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to say, uh, it didn't suck back then, it was good. I understand, but this gun got a buff, and I wish I could look on here, but it can now crit, so yeah, we can have fun with this. This is a burst firing weapon, just like the Sigurus Prime, and it has decent, decently good status, that's the good news. But at least, oh, having an enjoyment of this, especially with or without Harrow or Chroma, this thing feels fulfilling. If I can, I told, told myself I should get the rim for this, but too late. <laughs> too late. Maybe we'll already raise that price to that ribbon, and man, that is bad for me. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the Tiburon. This thing right here is a puncture weapon. That is a burst fire as well, too. And you know the drill. Stat-wise, it's quality of crit and quality of status. So that's the good news. The only thing that you probably don't like is the puncture, which obviously is better to use in Vernier, and damage 2.5 isn't the case. Or in this case, the usual. If we still have the same old, same old, same old damage system, then it's still fine. But when I mean it can crit, you already know. Oh, hey, it can crit. You can put in 100 munitions with this. That is good. I was going to test the Vision 19 version of this, which means you use basically two Bristol 8 mods, armaments, and also the Favor, the fire rate one. And I didn't get the, enough testing on that. I was too busy just screwing around with this build. The Tebron now feels redeemed. But. That may be second thought. You can now prime this weapon, DE? Yes. Is that the case? Maybe. But we'll get to that. I'll just see what the heck happens. Those of you guys don't know and you got you need to get this right now. You need to actually farm for Bob and Prime, because he'll be the one that's gonna be on Voltate. I'll tell you about it in another video. That'll be tomorrow. But right now, let's focus on Tiburon right here. This weapon, you can build it. All you need is a Tron and the materials that you need for it. A Tron and other materials. And you can go ahead and get started with this right now. But how do you actually mod this weapon? Well, it's time for your day. Those are your mods for you to use. I am looking at 3 form build because it already has one polarity. And I'm using straighting all Y. Tongue twister, I can't speak. And this is basically why I made it for ammunitions and for crits. There's something in there, but the fire rate is needed because the fire rate is a little slow, if you can tell. If you don't mind the fire rate, that's fine. The second build is a vigilante build, which you can use with Volt or any other frame that you put vigilante mods in, and that will be so good. You can even create some good damage. I mean, enhancing crit damage anyway, so that'll be fine for you. But overall, the weapon, I feel like I can get this weapon up there right now. I don't want to say it replaces a Soma, no. It just feels much better. It feels good. If, if it just has status, and it was bursting with status, then that would be still good. But crit and status, okay, good ratio. If there was a little bit more of a buff to this, then that would be, it'll be so good of a ratio. Yes! Tiburon, go ahead and get it right now. The only con that I can tell you is fire rate. You may need to put in fire rate mods. But the accuracy, I think, is alright to me. You can go ahead and get this out, out of the way. But, all in all, I'm having fun. I'm gonna go ahead and town. It's good for sorties. It's good for planes of Eidolon. I don't recommend this going for Endgame because, you know, the assault rifle situation with Endgame, yeah, sucks, right? But anyway, guys, that's all about, that's all what I have for you guys today. I will have another video later, to, I mean, a live stream 
tonight with Monster Hunter once again. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead and stay tuned for that. Stay tuned tomorrow to see another video, and I will do an Arcane video because it is time for me to do it. Way too long, but I gotta get it over with. My name is Travis or Shea. Hope you did enjoy the video today. But if you enjoyed, you stay up good. If you like it, make sure to subscribe. And to the operators, I'll see you later.